What's up guys? My name is Michael and in this video we're gonna talk about Luminar 3 and its AI filters. And I wanted to find out how good are the artificial intelligence filters in Luminar 3. I have some images here that I shot in Iceland. Let's go ahead and play with the Accent AI filter 2.0. Now, as I turn this one up, you can see that the image already changed quite drastically. Now, this is a combination of contrast and saturation, I believe, but you know, it's an artificial intelligence filter, so you never really know what it does. But as I now add a sky enhancer filter, which can be a little bit too dramatic so let's reduce it a little bit remove the haze now as you can see i'm using luminar here in german language but i'm pretty sure you'll still get the point of what i'm doing here so let's continue add some clarity i like to play with clarity and the thing is that um there is a feature that is uh, used to remove a color cast and let's play with that one a little bit and as you can now see the image has changed drastically i mean it's crazy how fast you can get a really great and dramatically looking image without knowing a lot about post-production and regarding the price tag of right now just 50 euros for this kind of software that's pretty pretty good let's go ahead and edit another image we have a church again in iceland right here and as you can see the weather was not too good right here actually it was raining and we had a gray sky we had almost no sunlight so yeah it was it was pretty difficult conditions so what we we're gonna do now is add the accent ai filter i'm just gonna punch it all the way up use the sky enhancer again maybe this time a little bit more um remove the haze add some clarity add some contrast and uh, well let's try the remove color cast feature again i mean it has two options let's try this one no i don't like it let's use this one and let me show you one more time what happened to the image i mean there was there was no blue in the sky right and luminar really creates this beautiful looking sky and the image is still pretty dramatic but now it's a color image which used to be almost black and white <laughs> so um, again amazing job with just a few clicks right so let's do that one more time to another image we got this beautiful landscape shot here shot on the fuji xh1 and um, actually luminar 3 reads fuji raw files without any issues and one more time Accent AI 2.0 Sky Enhancer Does a uh, dust removal? Yes. And some clarity. And I mean, it's all a matter of taste. Um, I know that that is not what everybody likes, but what I like about this process is that it is very easy. And it's a really good result. So for me, I like to play with Capture One most of the times, but considering how easy and how good looking the results in Luminar 3 are right now, and regarding the price tag um, at which Luminar 3 is sold, um, it can be a really interesting alternative to a lot of photographers i think and um, for me i will stick to capture one most of the time but i thought it was a good idea to show you how lumina works and this is not meant to be as a full 
tutorial on Lumino 3 or a full post-production tutorial. And it's also important to say that you will need raw files in order to get these kind of results. But I think that's obvious. So shoot raw, download a trial version, and if you decide to get Luminar, then uh, use the code PIXELCATCHER to get $10 or euros off of your license so you can actually save a lot of money and if you like to know more about capture one because i have always talked about capture one even in this video although it's about lumina 3 then check out my channel there are lots of videos on capture one as well so i will end this video with some more post-production feel free to uh, follow along and leave a comment and talk to you next time See you. Bye.